Can you talk about writing this and directing it and, and acting and the experience that that was for you? And you know, I live two realities. Um, I, I'm a parent of three boys and a, uh, and a husband. Uh, I've been married for 15 years. And uh, as a family man and a, as a husband, I live a very structured, ordered existence. But there's this other part of me that makes movies and goes and acts in movies and uh, is artistically um, very restless. Uh, and I rather embrace the unpredictable uh, and the haphazard. Uh, because it just makes me better at what I do professionally. And that dichotomy became the source for these two characters of Bill and Brady. Now, while I was writing them, the only actor I could think of was Edward. You remember the first time? With Mom? I remember. Fucking ridiculous. ridiculous. I guess she just figured we were going to find out on our own. I, I don't want to know what she was thinking about. To me, a, a good, smart comedy is, does not come along that often and, um, or have things in it that I feel like, okay, may, maybe, maybe this is something I can actually do, you know, an Ivy League professor and a, a redneck Oklahoma pot dealer. So who was harder to play? Harder, it, it, it's, um, it took me a longer time to figure out uh, Brady, who's the, the, the guy, the Oklahoma pot dealer. You know, Brady, it, I had to hunt for for him for a while. When what we normally do as actors is react, and so you see what the other guy is doing and then create your performance from that. He was doing this times two, and I knew that Edward was going to be able to accomplish that and never allow the audience to see him doing the work. It was really great for me, not only as a director, but also as an actor, uh, to step out of Edward's way once I'd written this um, when we were in pre-production and watch him build these characters. It was really key that we were able to, um, whenever we filmed the scenes that they were in together, we were able to, um, not in a perfect way, but play it back with the, t the, the two sides right. playing simultaneous so that we could see on the day, whether or not the timing and you know and the eye lines and things were working right, that was very helpful. Okay. It, it, you could you could finesse it, um, which in the you know even even when we were both starting out in films, I think it would have been a little harder to do that. The ability now to to throw things up on a monitor yeah. and and see it back was actually quite helpful. I think it hits the target for uh, for the Pineapple Express set and also for um, you know. Educated people. Educated people. <laughs>